morning guys welcome back to your hair after an agonizing journey i am finally here at the new hot toy store T-shirts for Spider-Man and Green Goblin and also for kid size they are aiming for the mass market family market definitely of the Batman and also Iron Man of course with the cross beast this one is pretty cute it's tiny as you can see the difference in the size for the kids and the adult version and here's me hello 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 and here we have the end game figures for example Groot and Rocket Batman, Star-Lord, Doctor Strange, the new Loki, I think this one's the new Loki. Also more in-game stuff, for example, the rescue suit uh, cap for Thanos and the snapping finger. Oh, down below we have the Spider-Man Miles Morales suit and complemented by the Carnage and Venom figures at the middle and also we have got the Miles Morales as far as Gwen Spencer and also we have got more Miles Morales from the PS5 game. At the bottom we have got the various suits from the base PS4 slash PS5 games, for example the Iron Spider at the center. I like the proper Marvel MC one more uh, compared to this one. But anyways, uh, and also we have got the usual the Punk Rock suit as well as the anti dog Rock suit from the PS5 game. Right, and here we have got the various available figures to buy. So we've got Cable from Deadpool 2, uh, Vision from WandaVision. Also this one, they've sold out for a while. The black and gold suit Spider-Man from Spider-Man No Way Home. Also from the What If series, Miles Morales, da da da. And at the top we have got the Iron Man and the comic form, comic suits rather. And also more stock version, more Iron Man, etc. Here we have got the special edition suits at the top. Some of them I have shot for you previously, and also the four, i.e., the four neon colors that they have done in the previous release. And also here we've got the Tony Stark Mechanist suit, and also the mechanical arms, the very, very greatly detailedly sculpted one, the really sophisticated one, and also the Mark one here at the back. And moving down below, we have got all the suits from Iron Man 2, for example, the Mark 5, as well as uh, this, I think it's not 6 or Mark 7, uh, let's see in the back, Mark 6, complemented by the Mark 7 next to it. And at the bottom, we've got the 1 4 scale figures, and these are fantastically sculpted and bedded by amazing details, as you can see with the head sculpt. It's pretty, pretty amazing. Well, I do prefer the normal one six scale because it is easier to store. And on the side, we have got more Star Wars stuff, etc. etc. Mandalorian, oh, that's why I like Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. At the top, we have got from the OG trilogy, Luke Skywalker, and also Boba Fett, Boba Fett himself. Also, more stuff. Wait, I was going to say Star Trooper, Star Trooper. Moving along, we have got more Star Wars stuff from I think it's the anime series if I remember right yep this one is from the anime series and also we have got this version of Dark Maul which I kind of like more compared to the episode 1 version and also we have got the really really dope looking Anakin Skywalker there at the centre and moving down we have got oh the new ones Right, we have got Anakin Skywalker from episode 2. Oh my god, I think this head scout was quite accurate. Yep, I definitely dig this head scout. And also, had me next to him, Natalie Portman, at Prime Days. And also on the side, we have got a few droids as well as Boba. 
Uh, and back we've got Count Dooku there. Hello Count Dooku, get out your saber. And also the Thilson Yoda there back, C3PO, R2D2. And here at the lower row we have got the Book of Boba Fett. It's looking great as I said, the head sculpt looks amazing for this one. And the throne definitely tops everything like for this set. And also we've got some other miscellaneous characters, monsters and stuff. Sorry, I don't recall all the names from the Star Wars series as too fast. And also the Mandalorian himself as well as Baby Yoda. Hello there. So cute. Also here we have got the chicken man himself. And the scout looks fantastic as usual. More troopers are back, death troopers, dark troopers, etc. Looking dope. And at the bottom we have got Chewie. Hello Chewie, one of my favorite. And also uh, this is for the Han Solo, the OG version of Obi-Wan, not the McGregor uh, version and also complemented with Darth Vader himself at the back. Uh, moving along Sade, a ton of accessories, for example, uh, keychains, stickers and stuff. Uh, Spider-Man, I'm a Spider-Man man, Spider-Man man. Moving up, we have got more keychains, princess keychains, Toy Story, different IPs as well as the clear folders here at the top. And also, why not a charging bank? Right, so that was the right side. Let me show you guys the pillars. Pillar number one, we have got the Star Wars Cosby, which looks really, really cute, especially with Leia at the center and Han Solo. I think we've seen a lot of Darth Vader's, but this one, I love the lightsaber. It's tiny. It's like a popsicle. And also Bobo the Bank, C3PO, R2D2, blind boxes, etc. I'm not going to turn them because you've just seen what's inside. Also some lights. Lights. Spider-Man, etc. And moving along, see bigger versions of the Cos Babies and the Rider Cos Babies. I think they're called Riders. And also the Cos B Spider-Man. At the top, we've got the OG one that they've released, if I remember right. And also the No Way Home collection, as you can see, Green Goblin, Electric, etc. And then the PS5, PS4 Spider-Man at the bottom, which is the set that I've opened up previously. Check that video out. And also blind boxes, blind boxes, Infinity Gondor. And also here we have got the box I've opened and some of the older merch. For example, these tiny, tiny ass Iron Man, Marvel Studio Lights, Pixar, Toy Story, Cosby's. And moving down, the older stuff, Arkham Knights, etc. etc. Nothing too interesting here because it has that we've seen previously. Also the Batman. At the top we have got the Crosby's from the Harry Potter series. As you can see, it is well crafted. They are cute as hell. Look at that, Potter. Hello, Potter. Here are the blind boxes. And we've got this trio set. I think this is a special set in the sweaters. Look at how happy they are. On the other side, we have got more Crosby's, Disney IPs, as well as, oh my gosh, this is cute. How did I not see it, like from afar? Okay, fine spider suit with the cube from No Way Home. Pretty dope, and also nice details at the back as well. A mask version of Tom Holland at the back. Uh, and no, like for Spider-Man, I always prefer Spider-Man with mask on. Uh, similar to some of the other characters like Iron Man. So we've got Iron Man and Cat at the back. Look on the Forever Lights, I've shown you guys before. Some bigger class babies, and also these are, I don't know what these are. The Meta Keshi Cases. All right, these are tiny as hell, but they are pretty cute. And Infinity Saga Heels? Infinity Saga Heels, is that a thing? <laughs> so we can see Loki, Iron Man, Cap, and the Spider-Man suit, which is Pretty funky. The princesses at the top here. More Disney IPs. Uh, which one do I like? Tangled, OGs, Cinderella, Belle. Oh, Belle's cute as well. Look at that now. And also Mulan. Oh my gosh. Wait, the dragon. 
Wushu? Wushu? I think it's Wushu. That is pretty cool. Right, and uh, here are the blind boxes. Okay, on the right hand side there are tons of cost babies as you can see from top to bottom. At the top we have got the, well, the gigantic cost babies. So at the bottom we have got here the Lotso and the variations of pink and the OG version. Bus at the center and the different versions for aliens at the bottom. Moving up we have got Cap. I adore the OG trio. And at the top I particularly like this Loki and this Loki is cool. And also Iron Spider, Nolan, Dark Knight, uh, Joker as well as Christian Bell's Batman here. Everything in package form and moving down we have got the latest Lotso releases and the different variations as well as some of the older versions of Toy Story, Toy Story 4 and the Lightyear movie moving down more Disney items for example Winnie the Pooh The Incredibles 2 the Star Wars stuff and I believe these are the newer ones yeah plenty of stuff to go around having yeah. a we've got tons of Disney IPs this is yeah supreme cabinet to have at home and also here we've got the Marvel stuff, mix of Cosby's and Cos Babies. So we've got Groot on the left hand side here at the bottom. At the top, uh, some more Earth Wars, uh, Fall Up and Thunder, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, Loki series, which I have opened up previously as well. Also Spider-Man No Way Home Cos Babies, for example Green Goblin as well as Spider-Man, Carnage. Venom, Venom, Cosby's hair and their tiny baby forms. But um, moving alongside to the row and getting stuff, for example, Hulk, Rocket, the fat, well, ice cream floor. Got the battling trio with Iron Man snapping his fingers. One more Loki series at the bottom. Well, not the bomb bomb. And uh, we've got these Star Wars bat looking cool. Tons and tons of Baby Yoda plus baby I think I have the old oh, that version, the one with the gold base of the child. And also moving along the side, we've got more trailers at the back, different variations and forms of Darth Vader. Oh, Luke Skywalker with baby Yoda. At the bottom, we have got the very, very old, the 90s Batman. So that's something I dig as well. The handsome Batman, the character's hair on the right. And then we have got the Nolan Trilogy ones at the back, Jim Carrey, <laughs> and also Tommy Lee Jones' characters to face Riddler. Also Jack Nicholson's The Joker in various forms, which is cool, different outfits as well. Penguin, Wonder Woman, and then we have a pretty cool cabinet from bottom to top. So, in fact, one, two, three, and four layers. This is stunning. Oh, you can see the gigantic cost babies. Oh my gosh, that Joker. Other cost babies that we've seen previously, for example, the you know what you're home love part kind of shape or diamond shape if you would. Packaging for MJ and Spider Man or Spider Man here, which I have shown you guys previously. Check out my other videos for those. There's way too much to cover, and I think they've restocked Natalie Portland's Mighty Thor here. Uh, just not Moonlight. I like my Moonlight. At the bottom, Black Adam. I still haven't seen Black Adam. Shame on me. As well as the Batman cost babies, which I have also opened previously. This one and uh, oh, the other one's sold out. Right, moving alongside, we have got the older Batman. And at the back, all merch, for example, Wonder Woman, Birds of Prey, Marco Robbie, and also Dark Knight Rises, Justice League, RIP. Thank you to those who have contributed to the Snyderverse. I did enjoy that. Not the best thing out there, but I did enjoy it. Oh, it makes it with the old Batman. RIP, Harry Cavill Superman. We've got the Suicide Squad Nom Nom. Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn. Hey. Not the Lady Gaga one that will be getting soon. Oh my gosh, I haven't shot this in real life. So here is Rock Black Adam. The head scalp looks really, really good. 
Look at that. The body, the face. I think they're really good at getting the intricate details embedded into the bases these days. It's just amazing what Hot Toys is doing right now. So, yeah, The Rock. And also Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman, looking great as usual. I can't remember which Arkham this is. And also Jason Boyer's Aquaman. The usual lot from the Justice League. So here, one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, nobody remembers Cyborg as well as Six, The Flash, R.I.P. Justice League. And also we've got the Batcord, the Batwing, if I remember right, as well as the one called Scale Batman. Legendary Joker, Heath Ledger himself. I haven't seen this figure in a long time. So nice to see her again, as well as Kristen Bell's Batman, which looks great. Okay, dude, this Tom Holland looks good. The eyeballs can be twisted as well, and the suit is looking great as usual. So we've got the snow embedded on the bricks, which is really well done, the paint job, etc. And also moving alongside, we've got the pipes, chimney. I'm not sure whether the chimney can go through all the way to the bottom. Uh, I can't even see it. So accessories here, the usual hand gestures, different eyes as well as the webs, separate rolling eyeballs. Pretty good in terms of having the best head scalp compared to the OG version from Homecoming. Blue parts are slightly reflective and also here we have got the ladder on base so this diorama base looks amazing. More pipes out the back. I'm still trying to figure out whether the chimney goes all the way through down to the bottom or it gets blocked out. I think it might be blocked out. I mean, yeah, it's blocked out. Damn! New Spider-Man logo as well. I really dig it, especially with the base. As a Spider-Man fan, I love it. That is Tom Holland. Damn, son. Damn! Iron Man Mark 46. This one is the reissue from Civil War. And one of my favorite suits. And the diorama base looks amazing as well with the rubbles, etc. from the original release. And also this is where Cap shoves his shield in his chest, breaking the arc reactor. So I think the paint job is updated as well is slightly glossier and the red is slightly brighter if I remember right. The back as well is the diorama base, so they've got tons of rubbles, metals, uh, rocks, buildings, etc. All the fantastic glorious elements and at the back of the Mark 46. I think it's more or less the same in terms of scalp, but the paint job has definitely been upgraded. Right, uh, okay, final spin and on the head. Looking great. To the other candidates, we have got Cap. This is another reissue. Chris Evans' fantastic head scalp as usual, with the different facial gestures as well. Hello, Accessories wise, we've got a few different hand gestures, just a few, and also the pretty busted Infinity Gauntlet. And moving up, we have got the man himself looking amazing, shield as usual. The overall fit looks pretty similar in terms of details. Also, spinning to the back, there is the shield logo. And at the back, we've got the different straps and other glorious details. Here, here we have got Wen Wu. Right, the head scalp looks fantastic as usual. And this time in a different suit. This one is available for pre-order, but it's all gone now because today is not the first day, of course. I love this chest with the 10 rings. Look at the rings. Damn, son, I think you can take these out individually, which is pretty cool, pretty great. And also the chains. Damn, it's a fun piece. The usual ringed arm. You can see his ring there on the finger as well. And also the different hand gestures, which is cool. In terms of the suit, I like what they've done with the shoes. <laughs> yes, I don't know why I'm starting with the shoes. It's glossy and the scalp is well done as well. And the shoelaces cannot be undone because it's sculpted on base as usual. Bit for the figure looks pretty good. And of course with the face, it looks good. 
helped us do pretty pretty amazing job as usual at portraying the different actors and also we've got this effect piece with the ring spinning around from the Leung's Wang Wu character which is pretty cool I like this piece Chrome version of the Song Trooper old and busted pistols that gets nowhere and also the usual base and moving up top, we have got all the cool details. I think the scale and everything should be the same, but this time it's just a chrome form. And also, you can see the tummy area. There is the sculpted details, as well as the mouth area for the mask piece. It's looking great as usual. The back separation of the chest piece and the shoulder pieces. And you can see the interior there as well. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a long ass video to edit. So I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen here. It's an absolutely incredible shop. A lot of stuff to see, a lot of cool displays as you can see in the back. The usual IMANs, but that's what we like, that's what we love. I think this one definitely tops the one that they've opened in 2021, which I have shot as well. So check that video out and the other store here as well. And hope you've enjoyed this video and kindly like the like button and sub to my channel for more stuff like this. I'll give you guys more coverage in due course whenever they do openings, exhibitions, etc. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye now.